And to do sweet tarts, well, you have to make something called a pasta frolla, a shortcut pastry. And this is the typical shortcut pastry that you would find in any pasticceria that you would travel in, in or find in Italy. So here is two cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. And to lighten that up a little bit, I use a cup of pastry flour. Pastry flour has a lot less protein than unbleached all-purpose flour. So we don't want to form too much gluten here because we want a tender crust. And then a little bit of salt, pinch of salt, and about a quarter of a cup of sugar goes in. And all you want to do, you can do this right in your food processor, is whirl this around. You want to get that all mixed up before you put in the wet ingredients. So you whirl that around. And now you can put in the wet ingredients. And for that, you want one egg. And you want that egg cold, because now you don't want the butter to melt into the flour. This is really important, because if it does, it'll make the, the dough too gummy. And if you keep the, the uh, egg and the butter and the water cold, it will help to keep the butter from melting. So here is one egg, and here is one stick of unsalted butter that is cool. And you put that in. The butter goes in next, because now we want this to be come kind of a mealy mixture. So that goes in. We put the top back on. And let's get that all mixed up. So it's best to really pulse that. And then after the butter is in, then you can add the egg. And now you have to be careful because you don't want to add too much water. You want to add just enough water to give you a ball of dough that's going to hold together. So I kind of say a prayer. You need about, oh, I would say about four or five tablespoons. You know you have enough when that dough starts to wind around that blade. But you can stop it, and you can feel it. Go in there and feel it, you see? It's still crumbly, but it's holding together. I don't want to melt that butter too much. So I can take this out now, crumbly as it is, and dump it. Dump it right onto a piece of wax paper, just like that. Get the rest of that out. And now you want to just form this with your hand into a disc. You really don't want to overmix the flour. So just gently gather it up. Gather it up and form it into a disc shape. And that, then you're going to have to put this in the refrigerator and get this cold, because then you'll be able to roll it out. But you see how nicely this holds together. It's nice and moist, and it doesn't overwork the dough. So you put another piece of paper on top, wrap it up, and that goes into the refrigerator. And all this is, is egg yolks, milk, a little flour, sugar, and salt. And we cooked that together on the top of the stove until it made this nice pudding. So let me show you how this goes. Here are our blind baked tart shells. And you want them to be, you know, nicely browned on top and bottom. So you have options here. How about, first of all, we give this a little bit of a jelly glaze, a little bit of a jelly glaze to get that sealed on the base. So you really want to seal the base of the tart. This is going to prevent wetness from going through. So you can do that. That's one option. I'll do two for you like that. Any kind of jelly is fine. You could use a currant jelly, an apple jelly, apricot jelly is nice. And then you can take that pastry cream. Look at how beautiful that is. And just spread it in your tart shell, making sure that you get it nice and even. That's one option. And after you have the pastry cream in, well, then you can start with the fruits. So here are some apricots. And you could use a few raspberries. You could do anything with this, really. Kiwi fruit. There are all kinds of things that you could do to make this look attractive. Put in a few little slices of kiwi. Isn't that pretty? 
And then you could take a little bit of that jelly and just brush it over the top and put this in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve that. So that's one version. But how about we use some mascarpone cheese? So you want to put oh, a dollop of the mascarpone, spread that in your shell. And if you wanted to really make this special, you could put the pastry cream over the mascarpone. But I think I'm just going to leave it with the mascarpone cheese. So you spread that in neatly. And then you can top that. How about blueberries? So here's some blueberries. How about we take some kiwi again, put that right in the center, and you can give that a little dollop of jam as well. So there's, let's put one more in so that's really full. Beautiful. A little bit more jam. And those are ready to eat. Are they not gorgeous with a little bit of that jam over the top?